hey welcome back for another video today is a super quick one I've recently come into some old laptops and uh, I was trying to think of something to do with them and I found a really good Linux distribution called Batacera that will boot directly into a front end that launches emulators and Kodi media player among other things so uh, it works really well with game pads boots fast does not require much of a computer as long as you don't want to emulate newer systems so um, it looks complicated to install but it, honestly it's really not that bad you could probably do it in about 20 minutes depending on how long it takes you to download and uh, image a USB drive so I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, I am also using an Xbox 360 Bluetooth dongle which I got off Amazon for about 15 bucks and I have a bunch of old Xbox 360 controllers laying around my 360 has red ringed ages ago but the controllers are still great and really good for emulation. So uh, I highly recommend getting a pair of these if you're going to do something like this. But uh, let's take a look at how it works. Before we even get into the instructions, the first thing you're going to need is a decently large USB thumb drive. I'm using 128 gig here. You could probably get away with a 32 or maybe a little smaller. The uh, drive images for Ubuntu and Batocera are not really huge, but it's also nice to be able to pre-copy as much of the media you want on this computer right onto the thumb drive beforehand. So once you boot into Batocera, you can copy it right off of that thumb drive to get you started. You don't have to do it this way. You could copy all of your media to the box over the network, but it's a lot slower that way. Now that we have the USB thumb drive figured out, we have to download some things. So the first thing I downloaded was Ubuntu. We're gonna get the desktop LTS version. While that's downloading, we're also gonna need something called Rufus for writing the Ubuntu image to the thumb drive. Notice here that I'm downloading the portable version, which is nice because we don't have to install this version. We just run the executable directly. Of course, we're gonna need the actual Batocera Linux distribution, and we can download that from the website as well. Pay attention to the version that you download you'll need to know if your computer is 32 or 64 bit. And you're also going to need something to uncompress the archive that Batocero comes in. I use WinRAR, but uh, anything that'll uncompress a GZ file will be fine. Alright, so let's pop in a thumb drive and flash the Ubuntu image to it. Rufus looks intimidating, but all you have to do is drag the Ubuntu image onto it. Make sure you have your thumb drive selected under device and click start. When it asks if you want to download SysLinux, press yes. When it asks you to select a write mode, just select the recommended option. And of course, when it warns you about destroying all the data on your thumb drive, double check the device name and then press OK. This can be kind of a long process, so if you need to grab your laptop, your power pack, a USB gamepad, anything like that, now's a great time to go find those things. Once the flashing is done, we're actually going to copy the Batocera image onto the Ubuntu thumb drive so that we can install it from Ubuntu. So we'll need to uncompress the GZ file to get the actual ISO for Batocera. And then open up your thumb drive. And I just copy the ISO for Batocera right onto the root of the thumb drive. Now is actually when I would make a folder called Media and I would copy on any games, music, videos, whatever you want to copy onto the computer once Batocera is installed. Alright, so now let's move our thumb drive over to the actual machine. Turn it on and we'll select the boot menu so I can choose my USB storage device. I don't want it to boot up the hard drive yet. If everything goes well, you'll boot Ubuntu off of the thumb drive. So from here we'll say try Ubuntu and that'll give us a running operating system without installing it. The first thing we want to do in Ubuntu is run disks, which will let us delete all the partitions off your hard drive. So you'll see I select the drive, select the partition, and then click this little dash. That'll bring up a menu where I can tell it to delete the partition. I repeat this for every partition on the drive until it's all free space. Once that's done, we'll restore the Batocera ISO right over the drive. So again, make sure your hard drive is selected, and we'll come over to this little hamburger menu and choose Restore Disk Image. When the modal comes up for that, select None, and we'll browse to our thumb drive. Strangely, this is actually mounted under the CD-ROM. From there, you should see the Batocera image file that we copied earlier. 
Go ahead and select that, and then start restoring. Don't worry about the rest of your free space. The first time Bad Ocera boots, it'll create a new partition over all that. That's where all your media is going to go. So at this point, you have Bad Ocera installed on your machine. So now that we have that set up, go ahead and restart and pull your thumb drive out so that it boots to Bad Ocera instead of Ubuntu. So all that's left is to set up the gamepad and copy your media over. Setting up the gamepad is easy, although if it doesn't detect it at first, try restarting the machine with the gamepad plugged in already. So we'll just go into the menu by hitting spacebar, and then use the arrow keys to go down to controller settings and hit enter. When you get the configure input pop-up, just hold any button on the gamepad that you want to configure, and then press the buttons as prompted. If there's a button that your gamepad doesn't have, just hold down any other button until it jumps to the next option. Copying media to the machine is going to be a little bit less straightforward. So if you did like we talked about earlier and copied it onto the thumb drive, go ahead and hit F1 now. That'll get you to the file manager. Plug your thumb drive back into the machine and you'll see it come up on the left hand side. Here you can browse around your thumb drive, copy anything you want, and then click the shortcuts on the top left to place your BIOS files or your ROM files. You can also click share to get to your music and other folders. You can also go back into the menu under network settings and connect the computer to your wireless network. Once connected, you can get to it from another machine on your network to copy files that way. The machine name will be Batocera, B-A-T-O-C-E-R-A. -E Login is root, R-O-O-T, and the password is Linux, L-I-N-U-X. Once logged in, you can browse the same share folder to place your BIOS, ROMs, music, and whatever else you want to put on there. So yeah, it's a super quick video. Uh, I just wanted to show you something you could do with old computers. Hopefully you've got one sitting around that you haven't thrown out yet. Um, if anybody has any questions, I'm not a pro at this, but I can maybe point you in the right direction uh, getting something like this set up. So please hit me up in the comments and uh, see you next time.